Well, here's former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi uh, taking the stage. Hello, California. Hello, Maryland. Hello, Democrats. On January 20th, 2021, with the inauguration of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, we established one of the most successful presidencies of modern times. And we pr quickly proved that Democrats deliver. Millions of jobs, stronger infrastructure and rural broadband, a, a Biden child tax credit, rescuing human pensions, honoring our veterans, bold climate action, lowering the cost of prescription drugs, all thanks to President Biden's patriotic vision of a fair America, doing so with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Joe. that Vice President Harris is ready to take us to new heights. I've known Kamala Harris for decades. Personally, I know her a person of deep faith, which is reflected in her community care and service. Officially, she is a leader of strength and wisdom and eloquence on policy most recently demonstrated fighting for women's right to choose. Politically, she is astute and strategic in winning difficult elections, quickly securing the nomination with dignity and grace, and choosing Tim Walz as our vice president. I had the honor of serving with Tim for 12 years in the Congress. He united Democrats, Republicans, and Independents to turn a red district blue. He showed courage when he came to Congress in voting for the Affordable Care Act, meeting the needs of his constituents despite Republicans' lies and misrepresentation. When he went home, won the election, he returned to Congress, he fought for Amer our Americans' heroes as the Democratic leader of the Veterans Affairs Committee. Thank you, Tim. <laughs> January 6th was a perilous moment for our democracy. Never before had a President of the United States so brazenly assaulted the bedrock of our democracy, so gleefully embraced political violence, so willfully betrayed his oath of office. Let us not forget who assaulted democracy on January 6th. He did. But let us not forget who saved democracy that day. We did. And thank God we had a Democratic House of Representatives then. We returned to the Capitol that very same night. We insisted on certifying the election results on the floors of the House and the Senate. And we demonstrated to America and to the world that American democracy prevailed. The parable of January 6th reminds us that our democracy is only as strong as the courage and commitment of those entrusted with its care. And we must choose leaders who believe in free and fair elections, who respect the peaceful transfer of power. The choice couldn't be clearer. Those leaders are Vice President Harris and Governor Walls. When the sun rose on January 7th, 
as our national anthem declares. We gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Now, in this election, we are called upon to do the same, to stand together, to reject autocracy, to choose democracy, and we will do so by electing a Democratic House with Hakeem Jeffries as Speaker of the House. <laughs> electing a Democratic Senate, electing Tim Walls as Vice President of the United States. And electing Kamala Harris as the President of the United States. Onward to victory!